Gordon Starr from the iconic Oscar-winning Chariots of Fire, pair him with a Laurence Olivier award-winning actress and queen of the British stage, and what do you get? Pure magic is what. Now, mm. Nigel Havers and Patricia Hodge are ready to cast a spell on you in London's West End as they revive their roles in the classic play Private Lives. Nigel, mm -hmm. it's just lovely to see you both. Lovely to see you. Thank, Thank you, you One for second. coming. Have you won an Olivier Award? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Congratulations. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> so, exactly. There we are. Belated oh, exactly. congratulations. Well done. Look, <laughs> Private Lives is at the Ambassador's Theatre. Yeah. Uh, you open on the 31st of August. Uh, is it great to be back working together? Because it's been a year and a half since you last worked together. Well, I have to say, it really is um, such a joy to work with Patricia. Oh. I wanted her to play this part years ago. I get, no, I gave, I gave him the text before we, <laughs> before we she's, she got said, yes, she's got the exactly. waistcoat she, on. I had to twist her arm slightly because she said, actually, hang on a minute, private lives, are we not just a tiny bit too old for that? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> As in about 40, four, four decades. Right, OK. And I said, what, no? <laughs> and when we first did it, we were slightly uh, anxious about that. Mm. And yet, it's never been mentioned. No. Except when it is mentioned, it's mentioned in a positive way, mm. which is amazing. Mm. It so it is a joy be. to be together. I mean, I'm speaking on your part. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm. Oh, <laughs> you agree. 100%. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. One hundred percent. It's 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 wonderful, you know, to yeah. have a to have a chance with somebody that you you know, you just know you can you can work together and you're going to find yeah. love easily mm -hmm. and all of those things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when I forget the line. She whispers it. <laughs> my, my... That's a good friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a good friend. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Happens all morning. <laughs> when she forgets it, I go, well, I don't know what you were saying. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the play, though. So your characters have quite an interesting mm. relationship. Mm. Well, I'll start, and then you yes, can go. Go on. Go on. Um, yeah. I've, I've, I've been divorced. I've divorced my ex-wife, mm -hmm. that one, <laughs> and I've just remarried. Right. So, on my first day, my honeymoon night, mm. I booked a hotel in, in France, northern France, in Deauville, and I'm on the balcony having a cocktail. My, my new wife is getting ready in, in the bedroom, and out pops. Uh oh. It was oh. also on her honeymoon with her <laughs> second husband. <laughs> on the balcony having on a cocktail. On the balcony <laughs> having a cocktail. Yes, exactly, quiet. And we go, oh. You know, so it's what, what the hell are you doing here, kind and of thing. What would you think happens next? Yeah. Well, one will find out if we go and see them. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not the first time you've done this, is it? No. We toured it yep. um, for a six year, months. Six months. Yeah. So we've sort of earned um, our, our West End, I think, earned our West End um, spell. Yeah. yeah. At the one of the most beautiful theatres in London, the Ambassadors. Mm -hmm. Such a pretty theatre. It's not very big. It's perfectly intimate for our play, which is quite an intimate comedy. And mm. does everything feel the same this time round? Better. Yeah. Oh. Actually, there's something, there is something extraordinary that happens that I, I think we were just saying, we've never, never put it to the test before, but um, you come back to something and actually it's so immersed in you that it becomes, it has a different dimension. Mm. Sa the same but more mature, you know, more maturely digested, mm. if you like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the first time you do something, for the first few weeks, you're terrified about remembering it. Or, or yeah, it. of course. Yeah. But we, we don't, we have a different, because we know it so well, we sort of live in the moment, which is yeah. where you want to be. I suppose you can immerse yourself you in it more when exactly. you're not worried about what's exactly. next, right? Because it is, it is a play that has a degree of artifice in it. That's the style of it. Mm. Um, but it's that much more interesting if you can balance the artifice and make them real yes. as well. Yes. Yes. That's, the, that's the point. And mm. then you've got the best of it. You're both so accomplished in what you do oh, you know, over many, many years. Is it still a thrill to go to the West End and be on stage in the West End? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. It really yes. is. Yeah, yeah. It's it what is. it's all about. It's where you want to be. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's, it is important. And um, Those uh, theatres are I was going to say iconic. Iconic. Irish, but I didn't mean that. <laughs> it's just a thrill to be there. Yeah. yeah. And, and those theatres are iconic buildings, you know. They, yeah. There's something one wants to revere about mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and give everybody a, you know, a sense of occasion again. More so than Broadway? Um, I've the, never done Broadway, have you? Uh, no, I haven't played Broadway, but I've been no. there a number of times. I think the interesting thing about Broadway, it, it's full, you know, it, it pro uh, proclaims itself very yeah. loudly. Mm. And, mm. But the actual theatres are nothing like as beautiful as the London theatres. No. Oh, they are, like, our most yeah. gorgeous yeah, yeah, buildings, ours, oh, yeah, aren't the buildings, they? And, 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 the, the, ma and the ambassadors have been refurbished yeah, 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 as yeah. well, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So yeah. It's really and, stunning. And has phenomenal new wheelchair access as Great. well, which okay. is really important. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, yeah. and this is a play, it's not a musical, even though there's music in it. There's yes. quite a lot of music yeah. in it. Yeah. Yeah. I play the piano, we sing and all sorts of things. 
but it's not a, it's a play and i don't want to put people off because it's it's not over long it's under 2 hours yeah um it's a, it's great fun and if people have been are used to seeing musicals don't be put off because this is a play because mm. it's got a lot of music and it's got a lot of fun in it and we treat it like a, an entertainment don't we oh yeah. yeah and and when we first did it it was really early doors people coming out of covid right and <clears throat> um we sort of got up there and said all right well we're up here come on Sit, sit in the seat, we're being brave, you be yeah. brave. And yeah. It actually yeah. worked, didn't it? Yeah. We, we did, yeah. we got people in. And Nigel, this is so, so, this really is your passion, isn't it? You own a theatre company, don't you? Well, I you? do, yes, mm -hmm. for, for touring. Mm -hmm. um, and this was the first play I thought I'd do, and um, I'd never done a coward play before. And I know Patricia, so I, I thought, you know, she could sort of teach me, which she's sort of done. <laughs> um, but uh, that. <laughs> no, it's been, it was a great hit, so, so I'm just really... It's just such an honour to be asked to come into the West End. It's a real honour. It must be so f such fun. And obviously, you do the West End. Chris, we talked about Christmas earlier in the show. Christmas mm. is just around the corner. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> you always Stop get it. No. <laughs> Patricia's like, Stop no. No. Is it still too early for you, August the 22nd? Yeah. <laughs> still too early. They'll start playing the sleigh bells again. Yeah, yeah. and oh. we've got a Mariah Carey song <laughs> always queued up. Oh. If, if you want it, it's always ready to go. But you, are, you do a panto every Christmas, do. don't you? I mm. mean, it's not, for, well, for you, it's not too early for us to talk about it because that could equal sales. No, no, you're right. <laughs> there we go. It's, I mean, we, we, now we, it's, we, okay. it's just, you know, we have the, so the, the terrible foursome of, of yes. Julian Clary, me and, and uh, Gary Wilmot and Paul Zerdin. And this, this year we have Jennifer Saunders who playing the part of Captain Hook, which will be fantastic. Brilliant. That's, Brilliant. A, that's a stellar lineup. Is yeah, it? It's <laughs> a stellar lineup. But we, we do, the four of us do it sort of mo mo every year at the Palladium. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of. A bit of and fun. I go and watch. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, Patricia, it's if you've not been offered a part, it's the special one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. It's the Palladium. Hands yeah. the Palladium is yeah. always the special exactly. one. Exactly. And it is it important is. for us to encourage people to get back out, as you said, post COVID and yeah. get into theatres. Oh, yeah. There's nothing like it. Live theatre, there is nothing like it. Yeah. Absolutely that. It, it, you, it's there, it's happening in front of you, you're part of it, it's mm. a reciprocal mm. process. And, and we need an audience, because the audience are the missing link. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. We, they're, yeah. they're, they're well, they're 50% of, the of the show. Yeah, they're 50% of the show. Amazing, isn't it? Well, look, let, let's, let's remind everybody, yeah. Private Lives is at the Ambassador's Theatre from the 31st of August. Uh, thank you to you both for coming thank in. Lovely you. to see you. Thank you. Not at all. Thank you, and good and luck. It was, it was